a retreat for Israel. What do you say to these critics? Well, the question is whether the uh, Egyptian will really carry out the agreement or not. If they will, I think it's a very good agreement, a very good first-class agreement. If they won't and we were misled, then uh, we have failed. We won't, it won't be a disaster because uh, our new line is a good military line. But I wouldn't have advocated this line unless I really believed, and I do believe, I do believe that the Egyptian really mean to carry out what is in the agreement. That is to say, not only separation of forces, but uh, normalization of the area. And that's the point. Are they going to do the first step towards peace to normalize the area, or it is just a military move? If it is normalization of the area and relationship between us and Egypt, then it's a good agreement. In military terms, how much has Israel had to give up to get this agreement? You mean by territory? Territory and military strategy. I don't know uh, what military strategy is in this connection. If the agreement is carried out, I don't think that we uh, gave up anything because the uh, few miles that we have withdrawn from the Suez Canal I'm sure we'll pay off for the uh, peace uh, situation there.